Welcome to the lab. Laboratorians. Welcome. Today's episode is going to be about Killjoy. And how people grief Killjoy players without understanding it. And also how Killjoy players don't understand how to play their own character. What I'm going to describe literally happened in my Immortal 3 slash Radiant Lobby two days ago when I was playing with my duo. My duo was playing Killjoy. I was playing, I think, I can remember, Fade. I was playing Fade. And um, we wanted to go into B-side. I wanted to go into B-side with the ult from Killjoy. So the thing is, with the ultimate on Killjoy, when you do it in the corner here, right? And you do the corner or you do the ultimate on the box so it doesn't get spammed, right? Or like under box so it doesn't get spammed and you affect the site. There's 13 seconds of the duration of the Killjoy ult. And the thing is that people don't understand that explosions, that there's a certain aspect of movement happening on the map that people don't think about. So let's put it um, let's put it in context. We're using the Killjoy lockdown in the corner. Let's assume it's gonna happen like this, right? We have few players coming in from main. Let's assume four because there's a lurker mid and something else. The ult is being put with a mark of 13 seconds. Now, typically what happens is that players push out from main when this lockdown explodes. And that is incorrect. That is always incorrect. And I'll explain you why. So the thing is, uh, when we, let's say we play this omen. omen. Omen smokes are 15 seconds long. If the omen puts the smokes at the beginning of the round, the moment the killjoy ults, that means that those smokes are gone when the killjoy ult will explode. So you will try to push out of B main without any smokes. That's one thing. So when you're smoking the standard stuff on B, when you're ulting killjoy, you have to put your own smokes at around, in my eyes, 8 second mark. When the killjoy ult says 8 seconds, that's when you put the both smokes. So they are still active when the ult explodes and clears the site. Now there's another thing that people don't realize, and that is even more important than the smokes. Let's say there will be two players on site. Let's assume that Sova plays B, because that's typically where the Sova player is, right? And then let's say, I don't know, well, let's, let's put Ray's uh, that is playing in market, right? So when the lockdown is being put on site here, the Sova is most likely gonna stand on stairs till like around five seconds, I would say. And when the five seconds hit will, uh, will, will hit, he's gonna retreat towards CT. If you're gonna push out when the Killjoy ult exploded, then you go out during the moment when those players can go outside of those smokes and kill you. Because you literally didn't gain any space. They can play with a flash, they can use any utility, or just spray you while going out. Because that's what typically happens in ranked. What you need to achieve is you push out of the ultimate when the ultimate has a countdown of 5 seconds. So, as an example... I'm Killjoy, I'm ulting. 8 seconds mark, I'm using my smokes right now. 5 seconds mark, we're pushing in. And the thing is, when we're pushing now on site, with this 5 seconds mark, if there's still a player here on site, he just gets killed because he's gonna try to, like, just run away from the ultimate. So even if he gets one, doesn't matter because you took the space and you trade and you're already on site, right? And you get the kill on the guy. But if you go out, what typically happens, right, is you put that ult, not exactly this spot, but you get the point. People are just afraid of pushing out. They wait till this moment when you guys see that this is, this, this is what happens in ranked. Ah, zero? Okay. And that is not correct. 
you need to play more aggressive and use the space that that Kildry ult creates, but during its effect and not during its outcome. You know? Because that's the problem that I see with lack of initiative being done by the teammates, lack of understanding of map control, lack of understanding what the utility gives in the first place. But I do not blame the duelists or the initiators for that. I do blame the killjoys that are not telling people to do that. So if you're the killjoy player, you need to be certain to explain this concept by saying, for example, Owen, please smoke on market and CT when the killjoy ult hits 8-9 seconds. 8 or 9 seconds. Use it then. When the ult is at 5 seconds, you need to yell, go, 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 go! And dictate it as an IGL to make sure that the players will go outside of the outside of B main and just have that like opportunity uh, being uh, have uh, create the opportunity to take the space when the ult is still active. It's so important. It's so important, you know. So um, yeah, I think it's a very simple topic that is not being used correctly. And unfortunately, even though like. When I played ranked that two days ago of my duo, I literally gave also the commands, right? Like Omen smoke at eight seconds, um, please push out of the ultimate at five seconds. And even though people agreed to this uh, to the calls, they just didn't do it. And that's an immortal free lobby. So I don't know. Some sometimes it's just uh, it just hits different. But the reason why I'm doing those episodes is to explain those concepts, and hopefully they're being shared, and this concept of taking space with the utility that is being created by someone else will be just a, an upgrade to the quality of your teammates that you're gonna see in Ranked. So if you're a Killjoy main, remember, be an IGL in that moment. You don't have to be an IGL in the entire game, but when you're ulting, you need to explain this very clearly, right? And two, if you're playing with a Killjoy, be aware that you need to push when the ult is still active. And your smokes have to be done after the Killjoy ults, so they don't run out when the Killjoy ult explodes. Um, and yeah, if you have a suggestion for any other topics, make sure to leave a comment or use our Discord when we have a specific channel to pitch ideas. Uh, on what things you would guys like to get explained and so on. This was the fifth episode of Lotus Lab. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys, um, I guess, tomorrow for another one. Bye bye. Explosions!